Good morning, Kilmer Community, home of the Koala Scholars. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2022. As you know, our core values are respect, responsibility, and empathy. And I love hearing examples of how our students show respect, responsibility, and empathy. So thinking about um, empathy, it's helping friends when they need help. And of course, like being respectful, you're respectful to not only your peers, but also to the adults in the building who support you each and every day. And then responsibility, please take responsibility for your actions. So, you know, you come to school prepared, you are doing work that you are expected to do when you make a mistake, you own up to it and you recognize how it may impact or affect others. So be mindful of these, um, these core values. All right. And then we're obviously we're finishing up women's history month and I'm going to bring to you, um, I think she's that, I mean, she is, uh, like someone, like a, a fierce supporter of, um, of civil rights and someone in our history I think that I think is really important to know about. And I know um, if you have Mr. Tercios for social studies, he may have spoken about her um, in the past and certainly you should ask him for some more information. But I introduce to you Angela Davis. Now, most of the information that I'm getting is coming from Kids Britannica verbatim. I also got a little bit of information um, from Wikipedia. So here we go. Angela Yvonne Davis was born on January 26, 1944 in Birmingham, Alabama. She grew up in the days of the Jim Crow laws. These laws kept black people separate from white people in the Southern United States. Black people were also treated unfairly. Davis experienced segregation and racism. She saw that the laws were harmful to black people and her upbringing helped inspire her to fight for equality. In the early 60s, Angela's education began at Brandeis University right here in Waltham, Massachusetts, where she earned a BA in French. She went to University of Frankfurt, Germany for graduate studies in philosophy. And she also completed postgraduate work at UC San Diego and received a PhD at Humboldt University. While in school, she became involved with the civil rights movement. In the late 60s, she became active with the Black Panther Party. The party worked to help end injustices toward black people. Davis was also a member of an all black group of the Communist Party. People in the United States felt threatened by the party. In 1969, David was, um, Davis was hired to teach philosophy at the University of California at Los Angeles. Because of her political beliefs, the university tried to stop her from teaching. Also interesting to note, then Governor Ronald Reagan, who ended up becoming the president of the United States, also vowed that she would never teach in the, any of the state schools again. Um, she was later allowed to continue at UCLA, but she left in 1970. During the 60s and 70s, Davis worked to help black prisoners. She was friendly with one black prisoner named George Jackson. When he went on trial, some supporters of, of his tried to help him escape. People in the courtroom were killed in the attempt. Officials believed that Angela was involved. She was arrested and put in jail. 18 months later, she was found not guilty by an all-white jury. Angela continued to teach, lecture, and write for many years. Her writing and lectures are about race, class, gender, equality, and issues with the prison system. Angela Davis, the activist, educator, and author, continues to be recognized as a distinguished professor emerita, emerita in the History of Consciousness and Feminist Studies Department at the University of California, Santa Cruz. She is 78 years old. So again, um, someone to learn about in our history, like the, again, the fierce advocate and educator and one who fought for civil rights. All right. So on that note, I have uh, some jokes for you and I was happy to receive, I received a joke from Naros and Miss Cummings grade five class. And here it goes. So what do you call a pig that does karate? 
A pork chop. <laughs> I like that one. All right. So uh, Marianne in Mr. Mook's sixth grade class writes, what does a horse say when it's fallen over? Help, I've fallen and I can't giddy up. <laughs> All right, that's a good one. <laughs> and if you know the commercial, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> and then Camila Roper in uh, Mr. Mook's class um, sent in two jokes. So why did the people want to invite the mushroom to the party? Because he's a fun guy. All right. And this last one, I know I said this, I told a couple of adults this joke last week. What is Forrest Gump's email address? Oh, not his email address, but his password. What's his password? One, Forrest, one. <laughs> I love it. All right. So on that note, we love you. We care for you. We believe in you. And what do I always say? Always be your best you and make today and every day a great day. I will see you next time. Bye.